What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're here with Ari, and we are at camp. Before we head out, I respect Will. Once again, I am very indecisive. Though, I was thinking about Will's build and how he's going to... Whenever he crits, he's kind of going to, like, mass fear people. I don't know if I want him to do that. I kind of don't know, because... If we're going to fear people, it's probably going to run them away from Ari and Karlak. Though, to be honest, they probably won't run that far. But, I think... Now that we we respect him and really made his build towards the whole Eldritch Blast, I think we can put him back in the Fiend and be fine. Because the Fiend gives him that, that buff when he kills people and it's just really, really useful right now. I just think we built him a bit wrong at first. But, and then there's the whole fact that Will is kind of packed to this Mizora person and I'm guessing she's probably the Fiend. So if we pack Will to something else, does that break his story? And I don't want to even chance it. So, I mean, everything else is all fine and dandy. As long as we don't change people's classes, I think we'll be fine. Like, Karlak's still a barbarian. I guess it probably won't matter for Karlak, Astarian, and Lazale. It probably matters most for Gale, Will, and Shadowheart. But then again, with Shadowheart, as long as she's a cleric, I guess it really don't matter. We'll see how it is, but then again, she... Maybe some of the specs are just tailored to more of, like, uh, Char than Saloon, but I don't think it matters. I don't find it that bad. As long as they are that class, I think it's fine with me. But for Will, I still want to put him back in the Fiend. We didn't really get a proper chance to, to use it with a pretty decent build tailored towards Eldritch Blast because, well, I just didn't know. I didn't know that Eldritch Blast was the whole thing at first for Will, and now we know. And then for Ari, I guess we can't go into Fighter for level 1. I mean, it gives him a healing. It gives him a healing at level 1. But then again, he already has healing words, so what's the point? I think it's second wind we can get, so we can get two heals, which would be good. But if we're going into Barbarian, we pretty much get all the feats anyway. And we can't wear heavy armor, because we're going to be raging. So maybe one into Warlock. If we do one and done into Warlock, we can get Eldritch Blast, right? And Eldritch Blast is a cantrip, so we can just keep on spamming and spamming and spamming Eldritch Blast. you got to also realize that Ari here... Let me look at his stuff. Ari is also... He's got... We got 16 Charisma? I swore we had more. Oh, it's because we took the Dual Wielder. Well, we got 16 Charisma. And eventually, we'll probably get the one ability where we get two points into it, and I'll put it up to 18, I'd imagine. So that's going to really buff Eldritch Blast, I think. Though, to be fair, I don't think it matters. Wait, how to do that? Okay. I don't think it matters for a one and done warlock because if you do Eldritch Blast, you're not well if you do one and done the warlock, you're not gonna get the the upgraded one with charisma because it, I think that's like level two or something, right? Let me do the old save and reload real quick because I did change the party. I put a story back in. I took Will out because well we already know what the fiend's about. We'll just test them out at some point. Though, if you look at the buffs here, Astarian is not shielded by the voice of the... A He's not shielded at all from the voice of the Absolute. I change my builds more than our companions change their damn underwears. Well, they don't change their underwears at all. But I change my builds so much. I'm so indecisive with things. It's not... Well, it's not... I'm just curious, I, I guess. I paid to talk. Keep walking. Hey, friend. I want to be your friend, friend. Sharp-eyed Berg, Bregg. You gotta, gotta listen to Crusher. He gets mad if you don't. Mad! Okay, you, you better listen to Crusher. Let me talk to Crusher. Excuse me. Uh, if you have a drawer inside, planning and such. Okay. What? Get! Oh, just sorry. I, I didn't know I was talking to. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Drow. They love Drow. Well, let's just say they don't the think they have a choice. Disgusting waste of Stonecraft. Disgusting waste of Stonecraft? Where? 
all this? Oh, she just hates friends. She really... See, that's the thing is that, like, with Shadowheart, she, like, really hates Saloon. <laughs> she does. And if you think about it, we kind of... Did we spec her into... Well, I don't know... I don't really know much about the cleric stuff because... Okay. If you, as a cleric... When you pick yourself the cleric, right? Can't you pick yourself the deity as well? So, all things considered... I don't think we changed Shadow Hearts deity stuff anyway. We left it at Shara. We weren't able to change it, but I know for sure with clerics you can do something with the deity. I think it automatically defaults it to Shara. So no matter what subclass Shadow Heart picks, she automatically still repairs Shara, right? So it don't matter. I would think that like a light cleric. She still reveres Char, but she's kind of on the lighter side, as in things. So she's not, she's not using her magic or whatever it is, or like darker type magic. She, she's still revering a Char, but she's got lighter magic to her, and it kind of makes sense. Let's be honest, because she was a Salunite follower at first. She had to be with that story with the wolf and stuff. So it kind of does make a lot of sense. But I think that's how it is. I don't know. Let's talk to this one. Another dirt elf come to boss us around, eh? I could break your face. Sorry, I didn't want any trouble. Who's the dead man? Don't matter who he was. He ain't nothing but a stain now. Just like you'll be if you don't clear off. We're gonna fight some kids. Sorry, I didn't want any trouble. Yeah, too right. So don't go starting nothing. And his kids are wild, huh? Hey, eight. Stupid dead bastard. Give him a good kicking. He deserves it. Kick the corpse. What did he do to deserve that? He killed my mum and dad. Made a bloody orphan of me. This is no place for a child. No. Oh, sorry for your loss. Maybe they had it coming. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. I ain't bothered about it. Better off without them. Stupid old geezers should have part more of a fight. Don't mean we can't enjoy putting the boot into this prick a stick, though. Okay. <laughs> Fucking a story and immediately. <laughs> you gonna you gonna tell him you're sorry, <laughs> Harry, because that makes you look like a pleb, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay. And the dark too gloomy for ya, shroom sucker. You got nice hair. Okay, I ain't kicking no corpse. I'll steal from it, but I ain't kicking it. That's the that of it. Hey! Yeah. Okay. Well, this chasm, you know, you have to know that there's something under that waterfall. If we go down there, I don't even think we can get in there, actually. We'll probably drown. But we can go down here. I don't think there's anything down there, unless it's a dirt mound. But it looks like it, it can go all the way. There is stuff down there. We're going down. We're going down to explore. Survival. You know there's something here. That's curious. Let's uh, dig it up, Carlac, shall we? The mother ever's wanted us to kick the corpse. And then we'll send this to a star as well. We'll just take the rest. Sound good? Well, see, I guess it was worth it, but it looked like there was something under his bridge here. There is, is a wooden tub. Friends, we got a wooden tub here. Yeah, we can't get up in there. Oh, it's people that are washing clothes down here and such. Wow. Where does this lead us? We found something here. Let us disarm this. Astarian, are you up here? I'm going to need you to be up here. Let me try to disarm it with Ari then. The Astarian's not up here. 15, less well, not. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew it. 
<laughs> the AI for our companions is so clumsy. <laughs> It's crazy because the AI in this game is so good. Remember the guy that broke off literally from the fight and went and killed Rugen? Like, that is great AI stuff. But our companions itself are such schmucks when it comes to... I know you can just take them out and then walk one up. I get it. I know. A scrap of paper containing what appears to be ideas for a love letter. Can't compare her to the moon or the stars or any of that rubbish because... She lives underground. She ain't got any scabs or boils, so can't compliment the best ones. Might think I'm too small. Tell her I'll buy a footstool when we're kissing. <laughs> or when we're kissing. Put some dead spiders in my hair next time I see her. Probably send her some bits of people. What? I killed? What? I killed? <laughs> what the fuck? Give me that love letter. I'm gonna sell it. Hey, Astorian, how are you, friend? You look like you got beat up a little bit. Or like stepped on a trap and done killed you guys, almost. Let's lockpick this bad boy. Ten. Let's add some bonuses. I guess we'll do guidance from a Karlak. Twenty-three. Easy, easy. We got some more letters. And we got a Great Axe plus one. A Karlak. How about you have that? Your emerge, sure. I guess we'll just give most of this shit to Ari Arschmidt. At best, an optimistic letter. Ooh. Weave moss. So this was somebody's little. This is to be fair. If this is someone's little getaway spot, it's pretty nice. Let's be honest. Give up. This waterfall is like really loud, but I'll still try to read again. I think it went down actually. A childish doodle of a goblin presenting a fungal bouquet to a drow adorns this crumbled letter. Dearest your excellency and most prettiest Minthara, you might not remember me. I ain't nobody important after all. Not yet. I was chasing chickens with the lads when you came to visit boss Ragzin. You looked right at me when you told him that if we were as good as killing humans as we were as plucking poultry, we might be worth a damn. Made me feel proper special to be recognized like that. Next raid, I'll spill so much blood, the absolute have to notice me. Then I'll come to Moonrise and you'll notice me too. I'm the one with the stumpy leg and the gammy eye. Klaga. Oh, is it as Klaga likes this, uh, Minthara? Drow that's here. <laughs> okay. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe we can hook them up or they can hook their self up, I guess. Okay, that's probably it around here. The gods are watching me. Good job, Karlak. Made sure Astorian was awake and ready to go. Can't get up there. Oh. Oh, we found a little hidden nook. Literally. It was a nice place at that. Well, let's head into... I think we done talked to everyone pretty much outside that we have seen, at least. I think it might be time to head inside the area that we... That Volo went. I mean, everyone else, though, to be fair, we haven't clicked on every single person out here. Maybe we should try to click on every single person out here. We already got the traitor. We got just so many goblins just chilling here. Let's click on them all. Why not? Bloody arm is killing me. Ears to the best sedative there is. Booze. If Baldur's Gate is bigger than just everything else in this game, it's got so many people. We're going to take forever there, I'd imagine. Hey, hey. You ain't rounding me up for no raid. No way. I'm drinking! <laughs> Drow, are you always so disobedient? Good for you, bottoms up. Let's just say good for you, bottoms up. Yay! Ears to the absolute! Enjoy your drink. I ain't gonna put you to work right now. Well, I'm not gonna put you to work at all, really. I think I heard the absolute just now. Mezga. You hungry? Dwarfs getting good and crispy. <laughs> a 
Is that the second or third time that we heard about them eating dwarves or just dwarves in general? Roasted dwarf belly? So, wait, is dwarf a delicacy? Oh my. Hey man, Plaga. Greetings, your most excellent drowners. What do you think of these breeches? Could be a new uniform. Tasty. Not the word. Gruesome, maybe. <laughs> They're just pants. They look quite fetching on you. Yeah, they sure do. Super stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Do you make a habit of eating dwarves? The dwarf, did he have anything on him besides pants? <laughs> Dunno. Was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. Had a couple of coins in the pockets and some daft poem. But that's all. I love poetry, can I see? I'll take the coin then. Yeah, let me see the poem. Of course. I'm thinking of selling it. Reckon it's worth anything, boss. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I don't plan on using this power. I don't want to do that. Read his thoughts, Drow. I didn't make myself clear. Give it to me now. Well, we could Drow him. Deception Bard. I think I know him. That's Piltrid, the Warbler. The worst bard in Fairroom. Yeah, let's let's decept him. Sure. Five? Why not? Friends. So we can't do this. If we do this stuff. We need to get rid of friends because I don't want to rouse people by using this. I kind of want to make it a last resort type of thing. But if you think about it, we're, if we're, are we putting it on ourselves for ten turns? Or are we putting it on them? Because I feel like it's going to rouse people if we use it. What if we miss like a critical fail. <laughs> easy peasy. Really? Oh, shit! You might as well use it as bog roll then. I'll get back. Attending the meat. We got a dwarf's poem, friends. We sure did. Hey, Klaga, let me uh, talk to you again. Get any joy out of the poem? Load of nonsense, in it? I fucking love this poem. All right, hold on. There was another one. Where are you going, Mezzo? Come here. You hungry? Oh, we already talked to him. There's so many gobs everywhere. Is that well? Tracker. Pack. Having a drink. It's all the sweeto and it's free, innit? Sure is, Drell. I'd rather drink Drider Venom. Free? I'd rather drink Drider Venom. That's some fancy elf brew, is it? Never know, might have it. We lifted all sorts from that inn before we burned it. Okay, well I can't wait to drink some of that. Who's walking back here? Klaga? That's Klaga. Hey, friend. Sharp Eye Aggie. Gah, uh, uh, Drink's going straight through me. Gotta pee. The only cure is drinking more as fast as you can. Take it easy or you'll regret it in the morning. Yeah, drink as fast as you can. That's the plan, mister. We looted an entire inn. Brought back enough booze to drown a dragon. Here's to them we nicked it off. Down one mug of ale for every throat we cut. <laughs> you might want to find another dwarf and get some pants from him. They finished cooking. Roller rot. What's holding up the game? Albert ain't dead, is it? I don't know nothing about no Albert. Don't worry about me. We already talked to these two. Come here, you. You got a mug on your back or whatever the hell. You got like a... What do you have on your back? A drum? Is it a drum? This ale tastes like hub goblin spit. Who's been puking in the battle? Wasn't me. Sharp Eye Aggie we talked to. We talked to this guy. We talked to Grika. Did we talk to Grika? We definitely didn't talk... Wait, who is this you guy? Was brilliant in the right, lads. Beautiful. Hold on, there's this one guy walking around here. Let's talk to him. Grika. Sorry, sir. Meat ain't ready yet. Dwarves take an age to roast. Okay, smells delicious. Reminds me. What the fuck? That's disgusting. It smells awful. Where did you find a dwarf? He found us. Don't know what he was doing here or where he came from. 
lads inside are trying to get answers out of one of his mates. <sighs> I can get you answers. Where's the prisoner? Was one of his mates a druid? Yeah, was one of his mates a druid? Nah! Druids are all beardy and woodsy, ain't they? This lot were a scabby gang of tomb robbers. Had a big old war bear with them, though. Took five of our meanest lashes to chain it up. We'll beat the fight out of it and make it one of our own. <laughs> I can get answers. Where's the prisoner? Thanks, sir. He'll probably spill his guts as soon as he claps eyes on you. He's inside. Keep to the right. And follow the screams. <laughs> we got a quest. A potion of healing up here. Wait. We have an area up here. How do we get up there? Carlac did not like that, friends. Thing is, Carlac, I was trying to get more answers on what's going. Hey, look, there's a corpse over here. I was trying to get more answers on what the hell they had going on. Alright, we're gonna go explore up there. <laughs> Why not? Let's explore up here. And see... Oh, we can just go up this ladder. I get it. I was gonna jump. Wait, can we loot that corpse now? Probably not. Anyways, I wanted to see what was going on. It's not like I really wanted to interrogate him, but we didn't get a quest for it anyway, so. But I see, want to see what's going on more, what's going on with it. Crap. Hmm? Hey, Astorian. One step at a time. And then chest over here. Traps. How considerate. Is that one failed? Astorian can't do that one. All right. Best avoid that trap. I can Astorian disarm that one. Ten. We'll do Shadow or Carlax Guidance. I think someone's gonna get stuck in that one. We'll disarm this one. We probably don't even need to disarm that one unless somebody gets stuck in it. <laughs> He's a rolling master. Yeah. Wait. There it is. Gotta find the sweet spot, I guess. Probably didn't even need to do this. Th he rolled a fucking 30! Holy hell! Quick rummage. Quick rummage. We can go over here. Let Under us lock pick it. 10. 28. We got a glowing shield. Holy hell. It's a plus two. Once per short rest, if you are below 50% hit points and take damage, you gain eight temporary hit points. That is so good. Holy hell. Shadowheart, you are getting that immediately. I'm ready. See, this one is a plus two armor and then plus one to saving throws. Is this? No, it's not for saving throws at all. Let's give her that one. Holy hell, Shadowheart. I want to see what it looks like, though. Don't beat nobody up. Got to press on. Okay. Well, look, friends, we got a little passageway here. I wonder where that takes us. It's probably gonna take us inside, I'd imagine. Let's mark this, and I'm not I am not going into. I'm just gonna put cave. Let's put cave right here. I'm not going into it right now. Because we went into the grove in a different spot. Looking ahead. And because we went into the grove in a different spot and didn't go right into the These front gate, I feel like everything. we messed up the story a bit. Because there was things that wasn't... That was just... I don't know, it was just being weird. We were getting things later. Not that we would know anyways, but just saying from just the comments and talking about how we went into the grove, we might have missed out on some stuff. By sneaking into the grove and just not like walking right through the gates itself. I guess it's something that I'll see the next time I play. But for now, 
I mean, it is what it is. Alright, we gotta read this poem. Let's read this poem. Dwarf's poem. A eulogy for a Salunite who died in the dark below. Notes about a door under the temple are written in the Martians. It's about a door? A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below. And we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon maiden's door. A notice scrawled in the margins found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phrases are sketched beneath. Find the night song. Oh! Wait, is this the dwarf? The dwarf that they're eating? Is that the dwarf that ran away with the stuff? We discovered a clue about the night song, a poem about Saloon that mentions a door under the temple. What is hidden beneath the goblin camp? Oh, it's beneath the goblin camp. Really? The night song is beneath the goblin camp then. Remember the dwarf that got away? With the, I think it was the guards that, or not the guards, but it was the people that pretty much led the goblins to the grove. Well, there was a dwarf that kind of got away, ran away with the stuff, and well, I think that's the dwarf that ran away. They're eating him. No go inside. Inside, boy. Okay, friend. Enjoy your wonderful day out here, then. I think we done talked to everybody that we could out here. Let me get this plant down. And then we're just gonna go inside. Hell, let's just go inside and see if we can talk to people. You think that was another way into this place? That little cave I got marked up there? It's something. Find the night song. It just updated again. Oi! Oh. Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolutes work. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. We friends or what are we doing here? Intimidation? You don't need to know about my business? Move. Drow. I've got an audience with one in charge. Yeah, we got, I got an audience with the one in charge here. You one of those moonrise types then? Your kind usually don't deal with boss Ragsley and priestess Gut. Guessing you're after Mimfara. Could be her blood by the looks of you. I'm here for Rag Drow. I got an audience with Minthora. Yeah, Minthora, sure. <laughs> audience is right. She's an uppity one and no mistake, but she knows her business. She's in telling the war chiefs what's what. Next raid's gonna be a big one, I hear. Okay. We gotta level up, friends! Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. She just pulled me in, not your usual hunt. Not your usual haunt, I take it. You don't have to tell me twice. Yeah, not your usual haunt, I Quite take it. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. I believe, I understand. The thing is though, Shadowheart, we leveled up. Now we got I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? She, friends, she said Salunite. Why, you and I? Share something special. I think we should talk about it. Let's ask her some of the stuff. Fine. What's on your mind? We haven't asked her this stuff in a while. How am I holding up? Quite splendidly, to give credit where it's due. You and I have shared some good times together, and it seems we have plenty in common. Sure, the fuck do. We share something special. I think we should talk Very about it. Very serious of you, but go ahead. We haven't said anything about this. I've met you never had a relationship. Like, <laughs> how are you faring? Yeah, sure. It's strange. I've been dwelling on what I told you before about wanting to become a dark justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Sure the fuck are. Wait, so what did we just get here? We got something for... Well, that was cool. Being a drow has literally got us through everything possible in this place. We can just drow it up. Oh, the journal. That's what we... Something about the night song. We discovered a clue. Yeah, we did. We reached a temple that is rumored to contain the night song. We should search for it. 
Yeah, this, those this feet is where the night song lost. is here. We got them now, eh? And once the whelps start singing, we'll know who sent them. Aye. Might be we'll pay him a visit in return. That'll be some up. real fun. <laughs> Shall we just go on a bit over here and then work on our build? <laughs> Softer than a whisper. No, no, no. Get up. I'm gonna level up. Wait, what how to do that? Breathe quiet. Move with care. There we go. Never well, I know how I did it, but. I pressed it on the keyboard. Anyways, let's level Ari up. Should we go one in the Barbarian now? Or should we just do... So we're level 5 Bard. What do we get now? Font of Inspiration. You regain all your Bardic Inspiration after a long or short rest. Oh my goodness, we gain everything from a short rest. Us. That is so good. Race. Oh, we got darkness just for being a drow. That is so good. What spell can we give our Ooh, what is this? Glyph of warding. Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. That seems really good. Plant growth, we're at level 3 now. Speak to the dead, it's a level 3 spell. You can just give it to him. I think I'm going to do this glyph of warding. Faint death. Fear. That sounds really good. What spell can we replace, though? Let's replace... Hell, I kind of want to replace... Do we need animal friendship? We probably don't need animal friendship. Let's replace that. How do we replace friends? I don't think we can. We're never going to use it now. Is it? It's a cantrip, though. Can we replace cantrips? Yeah, this is a level one spell. Let me see what we can change for animal friendship. If we get animal friendship out, I want illusion. Invisibility, but there's no illusion. Is Minor Illusion a cantrip too? I think it is. We might have to respect Ori at some point. And get him out of that. Old person. Is a concentration spell, level two. Invisibility. We can do invisibility on Ori. Shatter. See invisibility. I don't think we need that. We don't need fairy fire. I guess we can do. I don't want to do another level. I mean, we could do another level three spell. Bestow curse. No. Daggers. We could always do daggers is so, so useful. Hot metal. Heat metal. Cause the metal or armor to glow red and hot and force the wearer to let go or receive disadvantage. Oh, that's so good. That seems so good. And no one has this. No one's even using heat metal. We know what daggers is about, but you need... They need to be carrying a weapon. So if they're not carrying a weapon, they're losing like claws or something, or there's some kind of beast. I don't think it's going to work. Invisibility sounds so good, too. Touch a creature to turn invisible. Oh, man. Let's do heat metal. I want to try it out. I want to see what happens. Damn, so level 5 barbarian probably would have been something else, huh? Heat metal. Sure. We could have multi spec right there. We'll probably multi-spec multi, multi -spec on level 7, I think. She's level 5 now. Change BC Heart? No, I'm not going to change. I'm going to respect her at some point, too. She gets Legacy of Avernus branding. Possibly march your target with light, preventing it from turning invisible. Oh, that's really good, too. And Barbarian, she gets extra attack. Can make an extra free attack after making an unarmed or weapon attack. If you gain the extra attack feature from more than one class, they don't add together. That makes sense. I don't think we have an extra... Well, yes, we do. Don't we have an extra attack with the Bard? That's offhand attack, though. Does that... I don't think... 
that matters is a extra attack. Fast movement. Movement's been increased by 10 feet while not wearing heavy armor. Well, that's fine. We're not going to wear a heavy armor anyway. We gained change beastie heart now. So at level 5 barbarian, we get an extra attack. That's going to take the barbarian to the next level. to get two attacks like that. Level 5 barbarian for sure is what we're going to strive for on Ari. And then... Level 5 is great for Barbarian, but level 5 for Bard it didn't seem to do something crazy like this. So maybe we try to keep going to level 6 and see what happens. And then I think after level 6, when it goes from 6 to 7, that's when we'll multi-spec back to Barbarian. So it's going to be a while still. It really is, but I, I really can't wait for it. But it's going to be a while. Okay. Good to go, Karlak. Well. Damn, Shadow Heart, you got all types of shit. She got light domain stuff, daylight. She just gets daylight. You already know this spell. This spell is a better version of one you already know. You will only have access to this one. Well, let's uh, get rid of that. The light domain gives it to us, but wait, we already know this? Fireball? She gets fireball now, too? And this goes off of whatever she... Look at this other stuff that she has. Holy hell, beacon of hope. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Known spells, prepared spells. We're gonna get rid of... Shadow Hearts has so many fucking spells. <laughs> Even do. What do we get rid of? Let's get rid of this damn cure wounds because it always seems to put that on us. Glyph of warding. Beacon of hope. Your allies will regain their maximum hit points. Your allies will regain the maximum hit point possible when healed. They also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws. Oh, that's really good. Spirit Guardians. Call four spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take 3 to 24 radiant damage or 3 to 24 necrotic damage per turn, and their movement speed is halved. Damn, that sounds so good, too. Mass healing. We're going to get rid of Destroy Water, and we're going to do Heal Your Nearby Allies. We'll do Mass Healing. This is a concentration. Speaking of hope. Spirit Guardians. And we'll do that concentration. There's so many concentration spells she has. This is a bonus action. This is just an action. Concentration on that. This is a bonus action. She only has... Spirit Guardians for concentration and... Bane. still think we should keep Bane. She looks really good, spell-wise. Remove Curse sounds so good. We can probably remove what we got going on now. Beacon of a Hope and... Spirit Guardian sound the best out of this. And then, of course... Damn. Reviva? Reviva Companion. Oh, cool. Animate Dead. I guess Gale can finally get some good stuff now at level 5. I think that's good. Let's just go with that. We can always change her out since she's a cleric, so... Fine. I don't understand this. How do we have this? It's saying you already know this spell. This spell is a better version of the one you already know. You will only have access to this one. Okay. When did we have it? Is it under a cantrip? Light? I guess I gave it to her in a cantrip? So we gotta respec her now because we're losing out on a, on something. I don't think so. Class features five. Uncanny dodge. Use your lightning quick reflexes to protect yourself. When an attack hits you, you only take half the damage as usual. What the hell? That's so good. Right, si simple, and right to the point for rogue. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Friends, I thought it would take longer because it takes me about 20 years to respec, but. We'll just go from there. Now we have darkness. Look at Ari having darkness. That's so cool. Heat metal. Well, we're going to have to see how that's going to be, this heat metal. 
It's probably only going to be useful for, well, if we take the goblins out, it's going to fuck them up. Probably. Forgive the reception. Had some intruders a while back. Can't be too careful. Was there a druid among these intruders? A druid? Can't be sure. Got one of them chained up below, though. Just follow the honoring. Well, now I'm curious to talk to this Minthora person because we are literally we have an audience racket. with her. <laughs> Being boozing won't make the branding go any easier. I tried. Branding. Let me go up here and talk to this. Uh, what do they call themselves? Gabos? Didn't they call him a Gabo? Or was that Will that called him a Gabo? Oh, I thought you was my replacement. But no. I bet Merg has drunk herself stupid. Take it easy, my friend. Let me go and talk to... I guess I can go Nasty back over racket. here. Oh, come on now. They're just having <laughs> a bit of fun. Coralac. Oh, <laughs> so much fun that those thieves See, the thing is, past. though... We got them, though I don't know which barbarian build is going to be better for Ari, no so... Because Karlak's probably going to be better in the Berserker, if you think about it. You make your full force Berserker, because Berserker seemed like it was the strongest Barbarian build. That's curious. Whoa. Sir. Ma'am. Okay, well, there's a hole to get in something. I'm kind of, like, happy we didn't go to that other hole where the cave out there, whatever that is. Because, well... Anything? It's good you ain't causing trouble. Boss means business. Now he's got the absolute in his ear. I don't plan on causing oh, any trouble, I swear. Just a bit of so the boss has the absolute so in his ear. Oh, we got bases that we can loot from. I knew there's something good here. This is the temple where the night song is? Because she chose me. What is this? Friends, we got darkness. See, What's next? hold on here. So Shadowheart has this daylight. What is it that it replaced on her? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that always prepared? What is the plus sign here? You see the guiding bolt and it has the plus sign. It has plus signs on all this stuff. Makes me wonder. Shadowheart, you have so many spells now. I can't wait to use this fireball. The only thing that's in face is this fireball. Everything else is charisma or everything else is wisdom based, all this stuff. Spirit Guardians. That sounds so good. All this stuff just sounds like Oh, such a headache. Clerics sound really good. They got some cool, With cool haste. stuff. Really cool. Like a holy caster. I love it. Healer type. I mean, we gave her a, a basically a mass heal. That's what I'm saying. Did we really have to be life ward? What is this got going on here? We got a path up there. We got true soul gut. Oh, that's one of the leaders, is it not? What we got up here. We got... That's not a goblin. All types of stuff up here, too. True soul gut. Disappointment. How do we get close? Ain't polite to stare, Wormwalt. If you ain't got the guts to get branded, clear off. Branded? I'll be marked soon, don't worry. Why would I let anyone scar my face for life? Ain't just a mark on the flesh. It's magic. Only them what follows the absolute can see it. Let us know you're on our side. That way, nobody will mess with you. I'll be marked soon, don't worry. Priestess will sort you out. Only thing she likes more than praying is burning folk. <sighs> what kind of mark are they talking out about for me now. I ain't never felt so strong. Friends, what kind of mark are we talking about here? The mark that we're seeing on you their faces? You get branded too. Priestess reckons we should get marked up before the next raid. Make sure whoever we're sticking it to knows we're doing it for the absolute. You 
really gonna let them mark us? I don't think we're gonna do that. It smells like it. Look at we're this. That's goat smoke. Ari said, what do he say? It smells like burnt flesh in here. It smells like burnt flesh in here. <laughs> yeah. It sure the fuck does. Can I take this potion of healing? You gonna be okay with that? Because it looks like it's just there for the taking. Thank you. I need to heal him. Okay. Ma'am. How you doing? How you doing? Let me look at this tracker person now. I'll talk to this lady here. Wait, there's another one there. Leave me alone. I ain't got time for chatter. Just everyone has something. Even if it's not anything, it's just something. It's like some kind of dialogue. Look, your lordship. Priestess gut burned me good. I wonder if there's any. I never felt so strong. I think there's any benefits to actually doing this besides having being noticed by the goblins. Hey, priestess, uh, gut. Is this one of the people we gotta beat the hell up? No, he's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Why would I let you brand me? I assume this mark has a purpose. I'm not letting you burn me for life on a whim. I'm here to spill your guts across the floor. <laughs> Whoa! Right to the point. I assume this mark has a purpose. Shows our devotion to the absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon. And you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Hold out your hand. I've always wanted to smell my own burning flesh. Actually, I'd rather not go through this. We gonna let her do it. I'm kind of curious. Let me hold out my hand. Story and Shadowheart did not like that. <laughs> I want to see what hold happens. Still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Push deeper into her mind. Severed a connection. Let's push deeper. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Do you think you can fix whatever's causing those shadows? There's a creature inside my head. Can you help with that? Any help would be appreciated. I need a healer. She just branded us, and I don't think that was probably a good idea. Let's be honest. It probably wasn't. Now we might be bound to this absolute by doing that? Or it could be all hogwash. Or maybe we got stronger by doing it. Oh, curiosity killed the cat. Is that the saying? Curiosity is going to kill Ari. <laughs> Can we talk privately? This is a sensitive matter. Of course. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Oi. Okay. Princess, That's good. We want the mark. Yeah. I want if good we have her, did that do anything to us? Did it literally, what did it do? She burned us on the hand, but what happens if we take these gloves off? Can we actually see it? I don't see nothing. Let's take our armor off there. <laughs> oh, fucker. It is skibbies! Yeah, I don't see nothing on my hand. We're shielded, though. Shielded from the voice of the Absolute. I wonder if we can't 
how long does this shield it work for? Because we don't have anything. Would it even matter? Ah, shit, man. That was probably a terrible idea. <laughs> Doing that. It was probably a fucking terrible idea. Let me look at this approval because I am curious because I want to see... Not that it matters. I want to see what people's numbers are going to. We can't look at ours. Carlax is at 47. That's so high. Shadow Hearts at 60. What's the max? 100, I'd imagine? <laughs> Starion's at 27. He keeps going up and down. <laughs> Friends, we just let that lady mark us. Curiosity, though. I was curious on what the hell would have happened if we got marked by the absolute. The absolute mark. Maybe we should have just used a test dummy like uh, Starion or something. <laughs> Not saying he's a dummy. But maybe we should have used a test subject on it. Oh, that's crazy. But hey, the plus side is if we would have probably left with her. Ask for help, hold on. Ask the goblin priestess for help. We decided to trust priestess gut if we follow her to her chapel, she'll examine the parasite. No, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want her to do anything with the parasite. Wait, what we got over here? For you, mistress? We got someone getting tortured here. Liam. We have somebody in there. Let's see what's going on here. We got to speak to animals because there's rats here. Let's talk to this rat. Or it's going to a cutscene. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Oh! Drow, I, I I didn't see you there. Please, uh, if you want to have a try. No, I don't. I don't. I don't try. I get results. Move aside. I'd rather watch. Why are you torturing him? The git snuck in here with his mates, looking for some forgotten thing. Said they ran to some kind of grove. He doesn't want to tell us where it is, but he can't resist forever. Of course, now that you're here, we'll gladly let you take over. I don't want to. I don't try, I get results, move aside. I'd rather watch. I don't want... I don't try, I get... Like, I don't want to torture the man. Leave. You'll tell me, right? Can we free this guy? Great. I'll set my rats on you. I don't want to I'll torture him. Little girls. Can we... Oh, Charm or you're back. Uh, he's all yours. I'd rather watch. Tell me where you hide out. I'm watching you. Spike promised that any meat that falls off is mine. Hey, Liam. Oh, you're back. Damn it. We're not going to torture this guy. Where did them rats go? We're not going to torture this guy, but the thing is, they might have to. Let this yeah. one be my prisoner, Drow, not yours. Not this one. I'm hungry, starving. Hands off. This one's ours. <laughs> Liam. Let's back up for now and think about some things, because we're not just going to. Absolute blessing, sir. We're really not just going to torture this guy. I don't think I can. But what happened here with the, with the grove? Say the refugees. The tieflings are safe for now. But they still need to reach Baldur's Gate. Wait, so hold on here. Is that more? End of conflict? What updated in here? End the conflict. We got end the conflict. Return to Zevlor. Yeah. 
yeah, I don't think any of this is new. The goblins are planning to attack the grove. We should return there as soon as possible. I guess that's it. Yeah, but maybe this prisoner here... Maybe he is the person... Remember we talked to somebody out there? And we talked about getting information from him? Maybe this is the person, and we fucked up by saying that. So what if we click on someone else? Sorry, can you charm this guy? Your roguish ways? What if... Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. Please! Hey, a story in here. Look at his armor, it's so good. It's here awesome. to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Look at a story in <laughs> He's got this oh, he's got minus two charisma. But plus three. Deception, performance. Oh, Astorian was not the go. Let's do deception on Astorian, though. I didn't see what that said. 20. That's not going to work out. Bardic inspiration, and then we'll do... Guidance. 20. We just got a fucking 20 with Astorian. A critical success with Astorian. <laughs> we do all the work, and you get to finish him. Bah! Take him! Won't do you any good. He just... screams. I <sighs> should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest for all the good he's beaten. A story just oh, got a critical success. <laughs> Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner! Can we look and see oh, what the historian said? Guidance cast him. Prisoner. Well, there you go, Astorian. Good job. Right, what now? I think it was something about going and getting a drink. I believe that's what it said. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. I came for a night song. Where is it? I'm looking for a druid. Sleight of hand. Pick the lock. Relax. I'm looking for a druid named Halsey. I, I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please get me out of here. He changed into a bear. I came for a night song. Where is it? Somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They, they, they said they'd eat him. They are eating him. Please, right now. These shackles. I, I don't want to die. Relax, I'm going. Not going to leave you here. Yeah, we're not. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be patient. Sleight of hand, pick the lock. Yes, we're the one picking it, sure. We'll do guidance from Shadowheart or Harlack. Jack of all trades. The lock clicks. Oh no. And opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Yeah. What did the goblins want with you? What does a nice song do? Yeah, I want to know both of these. What do the goblins want? Well, what does a nice song... Let's ask this first, just in case. I don't know. The boss didn't say... He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Laroakan? 
What if the Night Song is the weapon that everyone's looking for? Like the Absolute was looking for a weapon, right? What do the goblins want with the, it? The Grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. They'll... They'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Okay, get going. Don't get killed on the way. Oh, look, a way out. What did we get 15 experience for? Exploring over here. Well, that works, friends. We saved the man. We're just gonna have to keep that in mind for the future. I mean, we did it with Will once, remember? We took Will and then we were able to get conversations with uh, the kids, I think it was. Oh, they're over here. Come on! You can do better than that! Ritual dagger and ritual axe? To be honest, I kind of need another dagger for a Starian. I really do. I've been thinking about another dagger because he's carrying a sword right now. Can we steal that dagger? You got anything? I'm watching you. Spite promised that any. And we already said. Bet you couldn't make him sing either, could ya? I'd swear he was mute if I hadn't heard him scream so much. Okay. Well, what we can do is maybe we can use our bardic ways and get these guys to come out here because they're looking right over there and we might get a steal with a starian let's see let's see if we can pull some people over here they love it trust me and we'll go with the starian and see if we can sneak and steal I need the da I need a dagger on a Starian. Time for discretion. We don't even care. Not that he don't care, it's that he can't see us. Problem is, if we steal it, he's gonna be pissed. I've been robbed. Stay careful. You, mistress. Did that do though? Ritual dagger. See, because we have this sword. The Pain Maiden's Blessing. After a successful attack with this dagger, the wielder receives a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws until the end of their next turn. Uh, yes, please. We're gonna wear that shit right here in his place. Now we have two daggers on a story, and that's what I wanted. Though, now I'm curious to see what the hell this axe is now. <laughs> care sir do we give a fuck ritual axe the scourge mistress bane chance to inflict upon the target a 1d4 penalty to attack roll save and throws if the attacker still has 50 percent or more hit points they take one to six piercing damage that sounds so good too mistress Take this since I read it. Since I let's just steal this. You don't even care. I'm stealing all this shit from him. Potion of healing. <laughs> Basic poison. What's he got in this backpack? <laughs> Nothing, <laughs> friends. We just came in here and robbed this guy blind. You don't even fucking care. <laughs> What if we pickpocket? Should we pickpocket him? Let's see. <laughs> you don't fucking care. Get a whole person now. Don't even worry about it. I'm not gonna ruffle him. <laughs> Unless the goblins will notice. I've got a long road ahead. Don't even care. Hey, thanks for the coin. Got something to hide? How much farther There's a thief! Oh, let's run! Hold on, come on! We're running. Thief! They're coming after us. <laughs> Someone's reported a theft in this area. It seems you're the likely culprit. What will you do? I... 
Try to talk your way out of it. Let's talk our way out of the situation. Deception. Persuasion. <laughs> Fuck. Ow. Excuse me, someone of my rank won't be disobeyed by someone like you. Sure. 15? Oh, no. Let's borrow inspiration again, Karlak. 20! Astarian's good. <laughs> You've been given the benefit of the doubt this time, but something tells you next time you won't be so lucky. What is going on with this view here? Whoever did this might still be here. <laughs> Astarian's a no, rolling no, master, you if thief, not, you! Through. Okay, okay, okay. That was... I think we got disapproval, probably. Bet you couldn't make him sing either, <laughs> could ya? I'd swear he was mute if I hadn't heard him scream so much. <laughs> the Bardic stuff is so good. It's a 1 to 8 chance on it, friends. <laughs> that motherfucker was chasing us down. He couldn't wait to come over there. That works, I guess. Hey, Astorian, you got a good dagger out of it. We probably didn't need to steal the Pick other stuff. It didn't help that these guys were over here. We should have came over to this place first, probably. The correct action there would have been for us to teleport with a story and immediately. <laughs> I suck at stealing. Let's talk to Abderak. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? You mean the one they are torturing? What do you mean? It's passing through. What do you mean? I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas, these goblins seem to thrive on the crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? It's appalling. As long as the story ends in death, it's all the same to me. I often feel like raw pain too much, it scares me. No. And why are you beating yourself? Who invited you, a goblin? And yeah, then, why are you beating yourself? <laughs> I realize this looks strange, but I assure you, it is a most intimate form of worship. You see, pain is a loving thing, but trying to explain it to these goblins has proven. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. I feel an endless nausea. That only goes away when I'm killing. I'm a contemptible blood pervert? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm trying to risk my drive to do harm, but it's very difficult. Clever man, how did you know? I'm trying to resist my drive to do harm, but it's very difficult. Clever man. Clever man. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. How? Yeah, and how would you do that? Why are you so interested? So, saying clever man, we go back, like, I wanted to say the other one about, like, you know, resistant to do good, of course. But clever man, I feel like it's just spouting the obvious, like, yeah, there's definitely something behind the eyes, for sure. Why are you so interested? And how would you do that? As the maiden of pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. What the hell are you Go ahead. To I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. <laughs> this man is of common stock. 
Only the poorest of men need settle for the spectacle of their own gore. Alright, why not touch me and you'll lose your hand? We just gonna let... We're, are we doing these rituals here? We literally let the lady brand us with the absolute. And now we're about to just let this guy... What happens if he takes the pain away, though? <laughs> Shadow Heart's on board? <laughs> we're doing it for you, Shadow Heart, okay? Oh, <laughs> I have something exquisite in mind. I'm curious. Both you know Leviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply so face the wall, and we can begin. We're gonna let them beat us? Is that what the fuck we're doing? You gonna beat us, sir? Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. Okay. And shadow... Okay, let's... Sure. Yes. This will do nicely. Get him, shovel. Oh, he's fucking... The pain you suffer really? will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Constitution. Try to hold back your cries. Intimidation. Come on, a child hit harder than that. Should we just keep intimidating hard? Make a show of screaming at the top of your lungs? No. Let's intimidate his ass. Yeah, let's intimidate him. Let's do guidance and just guidance. Oh, we still got it. That works. <laughs> you want more? As you wish, dear one. Would you have joined up with him if you'd known he'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian? I mean, I had my hopes. <laughs> wonderful! Just wonderful! Don't kill me, man. You look tired. Should I take over? <laughs> Let's keep intimidating him. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, okay, we're not doing any of that. Come on. 23! <laughs> <laughs> wonderful! You want more? I'll give it to you. My, my. Who knew our friend had so much blood in them? Try not to lick your lips as you say that. <laughs> That's it! Welcome the pain! Let it become part of you. Intimidation. Hit me hard as you can or I'll return the favor. <laughs> Well, let's keep intimidating his ass. <laughs> it's only a five. Sure. <laughs> Astarian and Shadowheart are fucking loving this. Carlite don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's a promise, dear one. This is some crazy shit. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> child. You bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Thank you, I enjoyed myself. It was an interesting experience. You could have hit me much harder. I enjoyed myself, sure. Just letting my companion just make fun of me. Oh, as did I, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. This mother effort is blood magic, does, huh? And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. <laughs> A kiss Looks without like mercy, it. Shadowheart. Crash. Well, well see that again. what have you into? Shadowheart is in the whips and what did what do we got on us here? Wait, we got something on us. Leviatar's love. 
Pain is the path to clarity. When you have 30% hit points or less, you gain a plus two bonus on attack rolls and wisdom saving throws for three turns? I don't want a long rest now. Should mind my step. Because that blessing seems so good. He's beating the goblin now. <laughs> Fucking Shadowheart loved it. She's freaky, huh? <laughs> Endure the ritual of Leviatars until Aberdark is pleased. Tend to your wounds, and we yeah, shall continue. Friend. My beautiful, penitent child. You have already enjoyed my ministrations. Do not be greedy. Come on, beat me again. <laughs> The shit that Ari does, what have we done in this whole playthrough that hasn't been crazy? We literally fucking drank from Ethel's well. We stole this as a husband. We read the Your Necromancer book. We got Shovel here with us somehow, done. too. <laughs> we got this Leviator's love on us, a condition that's probably going to go away, unfortunately, because it seems really good. And now we got the mark of the absolute. Like, we're just so curious. And I've done said it so many times what curiosity is. It's really going to get us killed one of these times. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so crazy. This condition's wild. Let me read it one more time. Pain is the path of clarity. When you have 30% hit points or less... You gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls and wisdom saving. So, it's just so good. When we lose hit points, when we get like 30% health, it's just, we become serious. As serious as can be. Rescue Volo. Where's, is Volo in there? Because we are not doing it right now. If he, he sure the fuck is. There he is, right there. We're going to save right here. And when we get back, we're going to rescue Volo. And then we're going to deal with whatever else. But holy hell, what a crazy turn of events with what's happening in this episode. <laughs> Is a level one spot. I don't want to use a level one. I guess we can take a potion. Or really, does it matter? I mean, we're not fighting anyone right now, per se. Damn, friends. That's so crazy that we got this cool buff. See, because I want a long rest to get rid of this stuff, but now I don't ever want a long rest because I want to keep this. It seems so good. We're only going to have it for a short period of time, though, so I guess we might as well utilize it as best as we could. As best as we can and just kind of take it from there. But anyways, my friends, like I said, when we come back, we're going to take the rest of this place by storm and then see what other trouble we can get into and... See what other of these crazy things that can happen to us at this goblin camp can happen to us. <laughs> Let me talk to her, see if she has anything though, before we go. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? Shadowheart has a freaky side, huh? <laughs> An Astarian loved it. She don't have nothing, Astarian. What can I do for you, my friend? Relax. What's on your mind? Nobody has nothing. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.